to tonight's recap of America's Next Top Model. All right, so the show begins with uh, the Brits making these major spitwads to throw at the Americans. A little prank. <laughs> exactly. Simone was pretty pissed, and she went... She was like, y'all, I'm trying to sleep in here. She went all manly. It was crazy. She needs some anger management Goosefraba. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What the F are you wearing, Tyra? You showed up at the house and you had this tank top on with like this yellow strap going around the top It was almost like it. she was going for like the bandeau bra. The bra neon was too bra small. Underneath, but then it was like just like a strip thing. What? <laughs> Tyra is a supermodel with smiles power. Well, guess what? It's time for a mother effing walk off. Well, <laughs> it was more of a let me see you walk. Yeah, so yeah. all the girls had to walk. What were they next to the pool or something? And they had to tell her something about themselves during then, the walk. Then Tyra went slightly insane slightly? and started going on and on about how she wrote her model land book and blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to put you all in capes. And everyone give was a you superhero. Names. Yeah. Um, she gave everyone in Toxabella names. I'm sure this novel is, like, amazing. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> the names were too ridiculous to repeat. We should never speak of them again. Until later until in the, the recap when we mention some of them. I felt like... What the hell is this? Is this flavor of love with the stupid names? It's Goldie and, and Flav. It's strawberries and champagne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, she then pulls out a picture of her holding a piece of paper that looked like a diploma that said, I went to Harvard. <laughs> I graduated from Harvard. All right. Three years. So. <laughs> The girls met up with Kelly Catrone at a warehouse. That's was what it she warehouse did. or a warehouse? It was a warehouse. <laughs> okay. And they have to create a campaign for a real company called Very.com. It's British. But first, a Virgin Mobile phone commercial. Oh, how nice. From Kelly Catrone. Oh. She can't sell it very well, though, because she is abrasive to the eyes. All right. Did we happen <laughs> to mention this season is U.S. versus Brits? Because I think we missed that whole part. No, we did. All right. So, <laughs> this challenge is keeping with that theme, and it's U.S. versus Brits. So. It's also Kelly Catrone versus Annalise. Yeah. And Kelly Catrone versus Sophie. And, and Kelly, Kelly Catrone, Catrone versus... versus Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, will you please stop being such a beesh? <laughs> right. Oh, my God. Well, this challenge, the two teams had to pretty much do their own photo shoots. And everything. Except Get the for props, being be, a photographer, Pick basically. a leader, pick your own photos, you know. Prop so. shopping, model casting, wardrobe, everything. makeup, And hair. Kelly has some words of advice for them. <sighs> Homer says, <laughs> luxury is something you cannot buy. Yes. I disagree. <laughs> All right. The Americans sucked. Let's face it. They did a good job in the planning phases and stuff, but they didn't really know what punk was. They were going for, like, a punk rock look. Yeah. Kelly was really rude to everyone, but especially Louise when she told her no running this. in the halls. She was like, you need to stop running around because it freaks everyone out. Um, no. Just let her do her thing. The models actually got to pick their own shots. Tyra was probably in a coma for this because, you know, control freak. All right, so it's time for Judge's panel. Nigel... I almost said Lithgow. No. Hello. Nigel Barker. Kelly Catrone. And someone who knows Nigel Lithgow pretty well. Oh. Cat Dealey. Hi, Cat. All right, so. Your judges. <laughs> and of course, T. Wyra. All right, so Annalise was up first. Her crazy, stupid and name. Taxabella name. Excite to buy. She did this little leap. It was fresh, but. She wasn't in the top. Mm -hmm. All right. Sophie. Illuminata. I keep thinking Illuminati, which me makes too. me think of Dan Brown. <laughs> yes. 
All right, so she did this little spin thing, which made it look like she was going to fall over. They freaking loved it. She They're looked, like, like, oh, you look she looks like Twiggy anyway. Yeah. Not just this week. Next up was Catherine, a.k.a. Era Descent. I thought it was Era Descent. <laughs> well, whatever. Some people <laughs> no, it's say era, era. Some people say Era. All right. So she had, potato. she had the princess dye eyes. Okay. And at this point in the show, I was like, wow, for every British girl, they're just thinking of some British person. It was ridiculous. To say that they looked like. Then Kat, then Ashley, she looked like Anne Hathaway. She wasn't exactly British. Well, she did play a princess in a movie. <laughs> True. And have a horrible accent in that other movie, that recent one. Anyway. Alicia. Gamatronica, which means her legs were hot. Too bad in the photo that she picked, they cropped her legs. Oi, she started crying then. Yeah. There's no cry. I'm surprised they didn't chastise her for like, there's no crying in all the tears. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Louise was up next, and things got a little bit out of hand. Oh my god. <laughs> she, she got into a shouting match with Kelly Catron. And, and Kelly, Kelly Catron was like, I'm done with her. Her head almost exploded yeah. for crying out loud. She's like, you need some gratitude in your attitude. Can anyone get me a high-fat shake? <laughs> I thought it was a great shot. <laughs> I thought it was a great shot. All right. Well, then Kat Dealey was giving some advice about having a better attitude, and Louise was just like... Kelly Catron was rude to me. So then she was like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I must run off. It, the shot that they showed from outside almost looked like she was in the back <laughs> of a flatbed pickup truck. It was funny. It was um, really weird. But yeah, she was like, I need to go home. And, and she did. She was out of there. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah, really. I think sometimes the judges really take advantage of their position and they kind they of know, do it. Yeah, they know when to push somebody. When they want them gone. All right, so let's talk about the boring Americans. <laughs> the Yanks. As Marie. She had this strong photo, a.k.a. she looked like a guy. That's what they like about Androgyna. her. Her. What's wrong with her ears? They look really weird. Stop I'm surp- it. I am surprised <laughs> that she's a model with those ears. You know what I'm saying? Modeling is all about showing off what makes you unique. Okay, well, she she should have been high fashion model. Era anyway. Genia. <laughs> All right, we're gonna maybe she should have been iridescent. Ears. All right. All right. Stop it, Kelly. <laughs> so Kyle was up next, and she did like this jump. She reminds me so much of a young Kathy Griffin. It's really weird. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe <laughs> Simone. All I could think of were three words: hams for gams. She scrunched up her leg and it made it look like three times as fat as it should have looked. I'm surprised Tyra accepted that. To put it a bit nicer, um, <laughs> she, the shot would have been better and more flattering if she had kept, like, more of a straight leg yeah. kind of look going on. All right, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Laura. She looked like she just got out of the Ministry of Silly Walks. She's like a Monty Python sketch, but they <laughs> effing loved it. Uh, Ebony, drunken mean princess, or... A baby trying to be sexy, as Tyra put it. And that made me think of an actual baby trying to be sexy, which made Didn't me laugh. Work. Didn't work. I lolled. I lolled. I lolcanoed. Oh, yeah, I'd go that far. Then Candace, the last photo. She had one look, and that was blue, che blue steel cheesy. You used to try and say that ten times blue fast. Blue steel cheesy. And then they were, Kat Dealey was like, this picture made me sad. <laughs> me okay. too. All right, so order of photos. As Marie, then... Sophie. <laughs> All right, so then only eight photos were accepted by the client, and the eighth photo just happened to be Louise. But Tyra didn't know what to do with it. So she wiped a butt with it. <laughs> not really. <laughs> she was like, I'm not even keeping this. All right, so there were two British girls and two American girls in the bottom four. They were not worthy of very.com. But guess what? All four are still in the running to become America's next top <sighs> model, even though they're not all American. Okay. I don't understand that. What? Okay. Her reasoning, you all can take a critique. But we couldn't let anyone else go this week because it would mess up the shooting schedule. <laughs> mm. Okay, so next time, as seen on America's Next Top Model. I guess they're doing TV promotions. 
for crappy products that nobody wants. All right, kids, till next week. Much, Much love. love. Bye. <laughs> Recap cat. Yeah. Oh, sexy. <laughs> Ow. I can't work like this. <laughs>